हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर काजल चिंदल फ्रॉम यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ डेली टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मॉड्यूल सॉलिटॉन एंड सॉलिट्री वेव्स फ्रॉम द पीपल क्लासिकल मकैनिक्स सो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस सी व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन दिस मॉड्यूल in this module we will learn to distinguish between a solution that exhibits dispersion and the solutions which retain their shape also we will learn that in some nonlinear systems it is possible that the dispersion and nonlinear effects cancel each other to exhibit solitonic solutions furthermore we will learn to distinguish between non topological and topological solitons now elementary particles in nature are localized packets of energy in non relativistic quantum mechanics they are described by wave functions which are suitable solutions of schrodinger wave equation these packets can be constructed by superposition of waves and are located in space and time they satisfy heisenberg's uncertainty relations these solutions however quickly disperse and the spread during evolution and thus they cannot be interpreted as particles there however exists solution of a set of some nonlinear classical non relativistic as well as relativistic field equations which resemble classical extended particles closely enough to be of interest in particular these solutions would look like pulses of energy which are traveling with uniform velocity without any dissipation there may also exist solutions where pulses collide and after collision emerge with their original shapes intact such solutions are referred as solitary waves and solitons it may be mentioned that elementary particles in nature are however described as quantas of appropriate quantum fields in relativistic quantum field theories solitons are generally classified in two categories first one is the known topological and second one is the topological solitons non topological solitons are characterized by the boundary conditions at infinity non topological solitons satisfy the same boundary conditions at infinity as the ground state of the theory the boundary conditions for topological solitons at infinity are different from that of the physical ground state the necessary condition for topological solitons is the existence of degenerate vacua in the theory in this figure we can see that the two waves come towards each other they collide and after collision they emerge with their original shapes intact these are solitary waves and solitons let us discuss the solitary waves and solitons in detail consider a linear relativistic wave equation in 1 plus 1 that has one space and time dimensions namely del 2 by del x square minus 1 by c square del 2 by del t square into phi of x t is equal to 0 phi of x t is a real scalar field in 1 plus 1 dimensions and c is 
the velocity of light. The first point is, did any real well-behaved function f of x plus minus ct is the solution of the wave equation? The plane wave cos of kx plus minus omega t and sin of kx plus minus omega t where c is equal to omega by k form a complete set of solutions of equation given above and any well behaved localized function f of x minus ct can be obtained as f of x minus ct is equal to the integral over dk into within the brackets a1 of k into cos kx minus omega t plus a2 of k into sin kx minus omega t. Since all the plane wave components travel with the same velocity c is equal to omega by k, the wave package f of x minus ct travels without distortion with the same velocity omega by k. Second, since the wave equation given in equation in G9.1 is linear, so linear combination of two localized solutions F1 of x minus ct and F2 of x plus ct that is F of xt is equal to A times F1 of x minus ct plus B times F2 of x plus ct where A and B are some constants is also a solution. At large negative time, that is t tending to minus infinity, f of x t consists of two localized packets widely separated. They approach each other as time evolves. They collide and then asymptotically at t tending to infinity separate into the same packets retaining their original shapes and velocities. These simple features of shape and velocity retention of a single or multiple packets even after collision are a consequence of linear and dispersionless system. These nice features are destroyed even by the addition of simplest kind of term in 1 plus 1 dimensions with in the clean gordon equation in two dimensions given as within the brackets del 2 by del x square minus 1 by c square into del 2 by del t square minus m square c square brackets close phi of x t is equal to 0. The equation is still linear and the plane waves cause of kx plus minus omega t and sine of kx plus minus omega t form a complete set of solutions. But now omega square is equal to k square c square plus m square c square. Thus waves of different wavelength travel with different velocities given by omega of k by k and any localized wave packet at t is equal to 0 given as f of k is equal to the integral over dk a1 of k into cos kx plus a2 of k into sin kx brackets close will spread as time goes on and the features 1 and 2 required of a solitonic solution are lost. We will next discuss about non-linear systems. It is possible that in certain systems, dispersion and non-linearity cancel each other effects to give rise to a solution which propagates without dispersions. Dispersions and non-linearity together can interact to produce localized waveforms. A case in point is that of a light pulse which is traveling in a dispersive medium, for example, glass. The pulse spreads because glass is a dispersive medium. The light waves of different 
wavelengths travel with different velocities. The pulse spreads because light waves of different wavelengths are traveling with different velocities and they are superimposed to form a light pulse. But in addition, there is a nonlinear effect which is called Kerr effect. It says that refractive index enhances the velocity of light in a material also depends on the amplitude of the wave. For a right shape of the pulse, Kerr effect may exactly cancel the dispersion and the pulse shape will be retained in time. We will now consider a nonlinear wave equation which exhibits the soliton solutions. The equation is well known as Kotwick de Bruyne's KDV equation. KDV equation Consider a function u which depends on two variables x and t. That is, u is equal to u of xt and it satisfies a nonlinear KDV equation. That is, del u of xt by del t plus 6 times u of xt into del u of xt by del x plus del cube u of xt by del x cube equals 0. The KTV is a third order nonlinear partial differential equation and we will attempt obtain its general solution. We are already familiar with the simplest wave solution of a linear wave equation. Its solution is u of xt is equal to f of x plus minus ct. Hence, we start with the trial function u of xt is equal to f of x minus ct which is equal to f of xi where xi is equal to x minus ct. Substituting in equation 29.5 which is the nonlinear KDV equation and using del u by del t is equal to minus c times del u by del xi and del u by del x is equal to del u by del xi we get minus c del f by del xi plus 6f del f by del xi plus del cube f by del xi cube is equal to 0 which can be written as del by del uh, d xi of minus cf plus 3 times f square plus d 2 f by d xi square is equal to 0. This can be easily integrated to give minus c f plus 3 f square plus d 2 f by d xi square is equal to c 1. Where c 1 is a constant of integration fixed by the boundary conditions as x tends to plus minus infinity. Therefore, f of x t tends to 0 d by d xi of f of x t tends to 0. d 2 f of x t by d xi square also tends to 0. Thus, c1 is equal to 0. So now multiplying the equation 29.9 by d f by d xi, we get minus c f d f by d xi plus 3 f square into d f by d xi plus d f by d xi into d 2 f by d xi square is equal to 0. Now, we integrate the above equation. So, we get minus c f square by 2 plus 3 times f cube by 3 plus 1 by 2 into d f by d xi whole square is equal to c2 and c2 is equal to 0. We thus have df by d xi whole square is equal to f square into c minus 2f. Therefore, the integral over df divided by f into square root of c minus 2f is equal to integral over d xi. Now, 
we let f is equal to c by 2 into secant hyperbolic square eta or gf is equal to minus c into secant hyperbolic square eta into tan hyperbolic eta d eta. Now, substituting this in equation 29.13, we have minus of integral over c times secant hyperbolic square eta into tan hyperbolic eta d eta divided by c by 2 into secant hyperbolic square eta into square root of c into tan hyperbolic eta is equal to minus 2 divided by square root of c into integral over d eta which is equal to integral over d z. Integrating we get minus 2 divided by square root of c into eta is equal to xi plus c3. Suppose at t is equal to 0, the wave has a maximum at x is equal to x0. That is, eta is equal to 0 at x is equal to x0. Therefore, xi plus c3 is equal to x0 plus c3, which is equal to 0. This implies c3 is equal to minus of x0. We thus have the solution f of xg is equal to c by 2 into secant hyperbolic square eta, which is equal to c by 2 into secant hyperbolic square of within the brackets square root of c divided by 2 into x minus ct minus x0. And the amplitude of the wave is proportional to the velocity c. Larger amplitude solitary waves move with higher speed. Now consider a traveling KDV soliton is also shown in the figure. In KDV equation, we have another solution which is given as f of xt is equal to minus c by 2 into cosecant hyperbolic square into f of xt is equal to minus c by 2 into cosecant hyperbolic square of square root of c by 2 into x minus ct minus x0. This solution is irregular and it has a singularity at the vanishing argument if the cosecant hyperbolic function along the line x is equal to ct in the xg plane for x0 is equal to 0. Let us now take up some problems. First is show by direct substitution that f of xg is equal to c by 2 into secant hyperbolic square of within the brackets square root of c by 2 into x minus ct brackets close and f of xg is equal to minus of c by 2 into cosecant hyperbolic square of square root of c by 2 into x minus ct within the brackets. We have to show that these are indeed solutions of the KDV equation del f by del t plus xf del f by del x plus del cube f by del x cube is equal to 0. Another problem is show that the integral f of xt dx and integral f square of xt dx are integrals of motion. So students, let us now summarize what we have learned in this module. Some classical, non-relativistic, non-linear as well as some relativistic field equations have solutions which resemble pulses of energy traveling without distortions. These pulses after the collision may emerge with their shapes intact. Such solutions are referred to as 
solitary waves and solitons. The simplest example of solitary wave solution is provided by a relativistic 1 plus 1 direction. The wave equation in which the wave propagates without dispersion. In certain systems, dispersion and nonlinearity together can act in a way to cancel each other's effect, giving rise to a soliton type solutions. Thank you, students, for your attention.